In Africa, we buff our animals. So if you have livestock like sheep or cow, we do have some time that we buff it. Um, let me show you this. You see? We are buffing this and this one has already taken its buff. You see how it looks looking fresh? Whenever you bath your livestock, it really makes it feel um, fine and freshen up. When it's having any diseases, while you are buffing it, you'll be able to locate it. Uh, so most of the ticks on the skin of the animal, uh, when you are buffing them, they don't feel comfortable. Some of them may even fall when you are buffing them. So you, when your animal has ticks, you can use the buffing methods to also remove some of the ticks on it. Uh -huh. Another thing is that when you buff your animal, it becomes okay and it feels more comfortable than usual. So a lot of people, when their animal is standing still, it is cool, it doesn't like moving. And they, will, they don't know how to treat it or they don't know what is wrong with it. They decide to buff it as the first remedy to see probably when they buff it, it will be okay. And that's what we do. Whenever we buy animals, um, every two weeks or every three weeks, we do buff them so that they look fine. This is only in Africa. I've never seen it anywhere in the world. And it's a good gesture. It's good you buff your animal. But make sure that when you are buffing it, you don't let the water enter the eyes, the nose, and things. If not, it might disturb it. Let me show you. You see this? See, you are buffing it. It doesn't enter what? The nose and the eyes. Uh -huh. That's how you need to do. You wash it from the two. Huh? When you finish buffing it, then you leave it to dry. You see? That's beautiful. So if this is your first time, kindly feel free to subscribe to our YouTube. Assalamu alaikum. Allow me. Allow me to talk about my legend. The legend of legends. The Lion King of the land of Africa. If Ghana was a sports car, then Kwame Nkrumah would be the feeder. Yes, beyond the legend of the seeker.